Just need a base hit. You got JP's going to be flying from second. You got the bases loaded. Bowers well fouled down the third baseline. Biggest pitch of the year here for the Mariners. Three and two. Bases loaded. Ciszek, the pitch. Base hit left field. Here comes JP. Bowers scores. JP scores. Mitch Honiger. What a night. What a night. I'm telling you, hey now, hey now. Hey guys, CS Arise Seattle here. I almost muffed that one. Um, I know I've, you know, we've already talked about the season and the Mariners and a little bit about what I believe they can do in the next couple of years or even just next year in general. This year is specifically, or this video is specifically about next year. And we're going to be talking about someone, people completely, I mean completely, forget about. And it's going to be, going to be a 30 year old. It's going to be the 30 year old Ken Giles. People forget that we signed him this last year, but he, you know, he's recovering from Tommy John and, you know, it's, you know, not something we were, we were really honestly paying attention to, but people honestly forget about this guy. And I'm thinking, I can make a video about this and I'm doing that right now. So Ken Giles, the 30 year old. Uh, this will be his, this will be his eighth year, more like seven, but I'll explain that in a minute. Um, coming off of Tommy John, obviously you can't have extremely high expectations coming into it. Uh, baseball reference, they, the, his 2022 projections, uh, He's going to have a 4.15 ERA with three saves and 26 innings pitched. I think it's going to be better than that, but obviously we got to wait and see. But let's go back and see what he is actually doing when he's fully healthy. So he his breakout year was... Ooh. His breakout year honestly probably was the year he came in. In 2014, as a Philadelphia Philly, were in 45 and two thirds innings pitched, he uh, he had an ERA of 1.185 with a FIP of 1.34, or yeah, FIP. And um, he yeah, um, phenomenal. And then the next year, he pitched 70 innings uh, with a 1. 8 year array uh, with a FIP at 2.13 so yeah he came in and dominated and then he got traded to Houston and kind of sucked he had a 4.11 year array for a reliever not not too good for a starter that's decent but for a reliever that's not too good and then in 2017 he went back down a little bit to a 2.3 ERA array with a FIP of 2.39. So he had a solid season there in 2017. And then in 2018, he was on two teams. The teams were... Um, I'm assuming they were with Toronto. It says two teams, whatever. He did crappy. He had a 4.65 year array with a FIP of 3.08. Not uh, horrible, but definitely not great. And then 2000. Oh, wait. Yeah, he played with Houston and Toronto. I was looking at that wrong. 
And then in 2019, he went back to his old self, having a 1.87 ERA and 53 innings pitched um, with a FIP of 2.27. And then why I'm saying this is technically going to be his seventh year playing, is or not his eighth, but it's going to be his eighth, is because last year in 2020, he really pitched only three and two-thirds innings and gave up a run. Four runs to be exact. So he wasn't healthy because he had Tommy John. But yeah, the Mariners picked him up for a two-year deal this last offseason. And people completely forgot about him, you know. And with the bullpen that we've already kind of developed, Ken Giles is going to be our closer. And... No hate to Seawold or Sadler or any of those guys who popped off. Uh, I'm Giles is probably going to be the best reliever on this Mariners squad in 2022. Um, there's not a whole lot to say about him. I mean, I kind of just said that. You know, I kind of just said his stats and stuff. But he he's definitely going to be a big piece. I don't honestly agree with um, the 2022 projections only because he wasn't healthy the last couple of years. These are kind of just averages. I see him if he is a, you know, if he stays healthy, I see him having about a 2.3 ERA. I'm going to be realistic. You know, that I think is probably kind of the median of what it's going to be with hopefully about 50 innings pitched. And a FIP, a reasonable FIP for him, let's say, a th- just a straight up three. Um, yeah, this, this, this Ken Giles is going to be good, you know, he's played in Philadelphia, he's played in Houston, he's played in the American League West. At least played up north in Toronto for, you know, a couple years. And, yeah. Um, there's not a whole lot. To, I'm repeating myself. There isn't a whole lot to say. He was fourth in rookie of the year, which doesn't really matter. How much are we paying him this year? We are paying him. Probably a couple million. I'm sounding like a, a, a retard. But, uh, yeah. So, Mariners fans, be excited for Ken Giles. That's what I was basically trying to say. This is going to be kind of a shorter video. It's not going to be the 15-minute the long video. But... You know, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, give me ideas for videos. I need ideas. I can. I'm only posting like once a month, cause I don't have any ideas right now. The Mariners are in the off season, and we need more suggestions. If you, you know, just give me suggestions. I'll try to make those suggestions happen. Um, maybe some free agent guys. I mean, when we sign free agents and trade for guys. I'll make videos on that. So I guess that's going to be a couple videos eventually over time. But that's, you know, what I need from you guys. What I need from the community. I need you guys to give me suggestions. So if you want me to reply to your suggestions, just make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. Um, I want I want a lot of Seattle fans to know who I am. You know, be kind of one of the faces of... Um, like these kind of podcasts for the Mariners. I'm, I'm going to give props to the guys who kind of inspired me to do this kind of little thing. True to the tr- Trident. Um, I'll have their link in the description. Great content. They're doing a um, documentary on like the Mariners and how Jerry DePoto kind of built this team to where it is now. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, they're still in the works for their next episode. I think they're in like on episode four or something. So check them out. They have like 3K. I definitely suggest them.
They also have like live streams every couple, maybe once or twice, or once a week or once every two weeks. So I'll have their link in the description. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and peace out. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Infield is in. Runners at second and third. No score. One out. First pitch. And that's lifted high in the air and deep to center. Springer is going back. Still going back. And that ball is gone. Well, not only did the Yankees hit Ken Giles hard. Check this out. Ken Giles hits Ken Giles hard. He just punched himself in the face.